Hey everyone. It's seven in the morning. I've had my coffee. I'm ready to paint. I'm going to do another small vase of flowers. I'm going to do it a little differently this time. I think I'm going to start out with red, blue, and a green, and I'm going to cover the background, I'm just letting it mix on the paper. I've already gessoed the paper and dried it. And I'm just, like I said, letting this all mix right on the paper. This is, these are going to, I'm going to cover everything up and end up leaving, hopefully, this pretty green. I think I need some more yellow. Oops, that's a lot of yellow. trying to think about a pretty pattern. Like I said, most of it's going to get covered up anyway. So just blending. I'll put a little more blue. A little more dark green right in here. Alright, I'm going to take my drumstick. This is the drumstick that my brother made a lot of great music with. And now I use it to scrape into my paintings. I'm going to go ahead and lightly indicate where I want my vase. Maybe a little shape of where flowers are going to go. And I'm going to dry it. Once I get it dry, I am going to I think I'm gonna make red flowers. And there's a lot of different ways I can put them on. I could press them on with a jelly plate, with wax paper. I could dab them on with a brush, I could put them on with my finger, um, I just got to decide where I want them. I think I'm just going to use my finger and make some shapes here. I want one right here, just random. I'm going to take one off the paper up here, maybe some small ones right in here. Just kind of intuitively tapping them on. I always like to have them going off. So I'll put one there. I want one coming off this side, but not necessarily straight across. So I'll put this one up a little higher. I don't want them all the same size. I'm going to make this one bigger. Put a couple small ones right there. So I need another one. I make that a little bigger. And uh, let's see my vase is right there. It's like 
papa bear, I'll make like a mama bear, and there's a baby bear. It's always a good design. All right, I like that many. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, my light's going to be coming from this way, so my shadow's going to go that way. So I want, I got to think about where the light would be hitting these. I'm going to mix a little yellow with my, that red. It makes kind of a peach. And I'm going to touch the flowers where I think the light would be hitting them, just random. Right there. Might not even hit that one. Make that a little bigger. Blend them a little. Make this one the brightest. All right. Now I'm going to mix some blue in with the red. Make kind of a purpley color and I'll put that down here under where I kind of feel like the shadow on these flowers would be. Kind of touch it up into them. Still trying to keep the colors fresh, especially on this one the main flower. All right, let's see how that works. I'm gonna take my drumstick and kind of touch up in here. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take white and I'll take white and I'm going to come in here and carve out This background leaving leaving some of the green because it'll look like leaves and it'll just barely touch the paints wet so it will pull some of the color but that's okay like that and I'm gonna leave I'm gonna trying to think a shape and hit these flowers and leave some greens go around my vase some into the center leave some of the green leave the vase
can come on down. I pro I'm going to change the color at some point, but for right now, I'll just come on down and carve out the shape of the base. Cover up the Abstract. Take my ruler and pull out the. Oh, that was crooked. We'll draw that real quick. Take my dark blue ink tints and I'm going to re outline this face a little bit in the bottom. Go ahead and add the shadow. Put some darks up in here. See, there's so many ways you can do these little florals. That's what I love. I mostly love the colors. I'm not trying to make any specific flower. I just like the colors and the process. There's some dark. We'll put some darks right around. Especially the bottom part of the vase here. There. See that green <clears throat> that I started with is showing through, and I like the flowers. I think I'm going to take some green, that's yellow. Just touch it until I like what it what it's done. Okay. <clears throat> so I like this big flower, and the others are kind of muted. This one's the brightest. And now I gotta determine the vase. Do I want to try to do stems or just a solid vase? Hmm. All right. Let's see. I think I'm going to make the bottom lighter. Go ahead and touches that blue and pulls a little bit of blue, which I like. Kind of cool. I'm not trying to make it exact. I want it a little abstract. I think I like the vase green. 
I might go ahead and this side of the vase would be darker so I'm going to go ahead and put a little dark over here and then I'm going to blend it in I like these whites that have kind of like a bird just hit my window Alright, I am going to I'm gonna hit the background again. It should be dry by now. <clears throat> I like this white. It's got a tiny bit of pink in it and I'm gonna soften the edges with my finger. Leave the greens, leave some of that color showing through in the background, maybe like in a little bit of a, a leaf shape. I'm going to definitely want to make this side that's darker a little lighter. Side. Just kind of scrubbing it in, pressing the paint in. That's a little too red. Let's see. You scrub too hard, it's going to pull the paint back off. So, I like that blue leaf looking thing right there. So, I'm just going to touch. A little bit of this color from the background needs to be there like that. Try not to cover up everything I did in the background. Lighten up this side of the vase a little bit. Put a highlight, like a highlight. You can keep going over these backgrounds and each time it, it, it will look a little different. 
but I'm going to wrap this up because I want to I want the video to be manageable length. I might go in here and just kind of touch. I like uh, these random lines it makes sometimes. And it pulls some paint around. But you can see where that the dark green that I started with shows up right in there. I might hit the background one more time here and there. And I might take some of this peachy color and just kind of splatter a little bit and touch it. Oops. I actually like that. Accidentally touched it in, but I like it. I want to do a few more of them. Put one there. And usually, if I do something like that, I'll do three of them. So one there, one there, maybe something lighter there. I like that, and it makes the red pop out. So, and it looks good against that dark blue and I think I will go over this one more time up here one more layer here it dries quick so you can layer it fairly quickly Maybe lighten this down just a hair. All right. I love it.